Hello everyone, this is Srikant and welcome to Yova Electrics. In the previous class, we have been discussing about Power Systems Part 15, uh, types of relays and classification depending upon their construction, time of operation and application. In construction, we have gone for electromagnetic type of relays and induction type of relays. And for in, times of, in time of operation, we have gone for instantaneous relays, inverse time relays, uh, definite minimum time relays and inverse definite minimum time relays. Uh, and application point of view, we have gone for uh, or current relays, differential relays, or percentage differential relays, and distance relays. Uh, so far, among these type of relays, uh, induction cup, induction cup structure. I mean, this is here. Induction cup structure are the most efficient uh, type of relay among all these relays. Please make this point. Uh, and we have gone for different types of application of relays. Uh, and their examples and we have gone through distance relays and their characteristics here and their applications for a long medium and short transmission lines so so today we are going to deal with power systems part 16 and that is nothing but concept of short, medium and long transmission lines ok so uh, a transmission line depending upon their operating voltage and distance we have divided them into short, medium, long transmission lines so what are those uh, length and voltages let's see here short, medium and long transmission lines so if the operating voltage is less than 20 kV we have gone for short short transmission line and if the transmission voltage is between 20 to 100 kV it is medium and if it is greater than 100 kV we call it as long transmission lines if if the distance is less than 80 kilometers then we call those transmission lines as short transmission lines if it is 82 150 kilometers we call it as a medium transmission line and it is and if it is 150 kilometers greater than 150 kilometers we call it as long transmission lines uh, questions might be asked from this point of view if the operating voltage is 35 kV then what might be the uh, transmission called as it may be short medium long so we have to go for medium transmission line depending upon this uh, box so uh, we actually represent a transmission line in this way transmission line and this is sending and voltage and this is receiving and voltage sending and current and receiving and current so uh, the entire transmission is represented by some parameters we call it as transmission parameters or a b c d parameters so uh, vs sending and voltage is given by a v r plus b i r i s is equal to is is equal to CVR plus TIR so to determine the sending and voltage if VR and IR is given and also we are aware of ABCD parameters such as I mean nothing but transmission line parameters we can determine the sending and voltage and IS say, receiving and voltage this is as simple as that only if we know that we know the values of ABCD parameters and these ABCD parameters are different for short medium on long transmission lines so here I'm going to provide the uh, formula we may call it as a formula or some a, a typical box like so please note it down for short medium uh, for short transmission lines a b c d parameters we have 1 z 0 1 z is nothing but impedance a b c d is equal to 1 z 0 1 1 is for a b z z c 0 and d is 1 
okay and for medium transmission lines we have different types uh, for calculating the ABCD values and uh, first type is sending n type sending n type so for this ABCD value is 1 Z Y 1 plus Z by we have another classification and it is receiving n and for those a b c d values are 1 plus z by z y and 1 ok right so we have nominal t nominal t method for this uh, a b c d values are i mean 1 plus y z by 2 uh, z into 1 plus y z by 4 and y 1 plus y z by 2 so these are very very important formulas questions might be asked like this uh, what what might be the value of b b for nominal t method short and uh, medium transmission line so uh, by the time we have to uh, we have to came uh, we have to uh, we have to by heart this formula and we have to come to a conclusion that for value of b it is nothing but z into 1 plus y z by 4 ok a b c d values we have to remember these points and, 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 and another type is here and, uh, and it is nominal pi it is nominal t and it is nominal pi so the values of a b c d are 1 plus y z by 2 z y into 1 plus y z by 4 and y plus y z by 2 so make a screenshot of this formula and just uh, go through this and now we, we we are going to have some detailed explanation of this a b c d parameters in terms of examination point of view ok yes so if a b c c d parameters if length of these parameters increases then what happens so uh, let us consider a transmission line so here V S and V here V R. If if it is a long transmission line, then we have the concept of capacitance effect. Capacitance effect occurs only for uh, short and medium transmission lines. So for A B C D parameters, A B C D parameters for long transmission transmission lines have a formula, but but in technical point of view and technical examination point of view for every technical aspirant there is no need to uh, know about long transmission lines in general uh, they won't ask from long transmission lines they might be asking uh, from medium and short transmission lines so you can trust me ok right so uh, sending in voltage for a long transmission line is vs and receiving and voltage for a long transmission line is vr so in general uh, vr is much higher than we expect for long transmission line this is due to capacitance F F effect for example uh, here we are going for 220 kV and here we might have actually 210 kV but due to capacitance effect we might have 210.2 kV and this 0.2 kV is due to capacitance effect so uh, from this we can conclude that if length increases if length increases capacitance effect increases and hence receiving and voltage also increases we know that Vs is equal to AVR plus BIR so from here Vs is equal to AVR so if B, uh, B and I are considered as 0 so initial conditions 
so a is equal to vs by vr if length increases then vr increases if vr increases a decreases i had mentioned you that vs is equal to a vr plus b ir so if a increases to maintain uh, vs constant b will be decreased so if length increases if length increases a decreases and b increases okay so for short medium and long transmission lines values of constants b and a so for short transmission lines value of a will be higher and here it will be medium and for long transmission line it is low we know that for short transmission lines a value is 1 okay a b c d for short transmission lines short transmission line we know that 1 z 0 1 so for a it is 1 and 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 for b it is low medium high okay so in general we we are generally aware of we must be know we must uh, the most important factors that affect the transmission lines are a and b because for transmission line voltage is more important than current so questions might be asked in uh, in terms of voltage only so we have been discussing about a and b parameters so in similar we can we can just guess about c and d also that's nothing a problem it is also same as that of a and b right okay so one more point i would like to add here is concept of voltage regulation voltage regulation so if length increases uh, resistance increases resistance of a transmission line increases length of a uh, inductance of a transmission line increases and capacitance of a transmission lines also increases right okay make note of this point this is very very important and questions might be asked if length of the transmission line increases then inductance increases decreases uh, remains unchanged then we have to go for increases length increases rlc parameters also will increases so then uh, reactance will xl will increase but xc capacity reactance will decrease so so next we are going for voltage regulation right we have a formula known as vs is equal to vr plus ir cos phi ir plus ix plus or minus ix sin phi r so vs minus vr is equal to ir cos phi r plus or minus ix sin phi r so vs minus vr is nothing but voltage regulation voltage regulation is equal to ir cos phi r plus or minus ix sin phi r if one had asked you to determine voltage regulation then we will go to this formula if one had asked you about percentage voltage regulation then you have to go for ir cos phi r plus or minus ix sin phi r by vs okay so now for, to, for now i am taking this formula so voltage regulation is equal to ir cos phi r plus or minus ix sin phi r if the load is capacitive we have to go for minus and for load is inductive we have to go for plus okay so vs minus vr is equal to ir cos phi r plus r minus ix sin phi r right so if the regulation is to be zero so then ir cos phi r uh, it will it should be ix sin phi r so it will be zero only if this will be summit with this one okay 
ir cos phi r minus ix sin phi r if for any values at a point we will get zero so ir cos phi r is equal to ix sin phi and if we cancel this and r by x is equal to tan phi so this is role, uh, formula for minimum voltage regulation minimum voltage regulation or zero voltage regulation tan phi is equal to r by x phi is equal to tan inverse of r by x we have zero voltage regulation we have the, we must have the power factor of this much power factor angle similar in case of maximum voltage regulation and that is inverse of this one converse of this thing so we have tan phi is equal to x by r x by r for maximum voltage regulation for minimum voltage regulation we have the formula r by x minimum voltage regulation so these both are very very important formulas and and please do share with your friends and this is all about power systems and in the next class we are going to deal with another new subject and please do share with your friends and if you have any queries please do comment in the comment box below and thank you thank you so much